Oh there guys, this is a Dell XPS M1330 and uh, it's a, quite a nice looking laptop, it's not, not exactly really specced up as a dual core Centrino designed for Windows Vista, a little fingerprint scanner, a few other perks but uh, it's knackered. It stopped working um, probably about a year ago now I uh, sent it off to a guy on eBay that reflowed the GPU and it worked perfectly again for about uh, just over two months just out of the warranty period and then it packed up again so you turn it on it powers up, the backlight comes on and there is no video output every now and again if it's just sort of the right temperature I don't know whether it's too hot or too cold you will get a picture on it and it will boot and you'll be able to use it for about five minutes and then it will just lock up and completely die you can tell it's the GPU because eventually when it warms up I can just about see I'm going through now turn the light off there you go you can see those lines that appear so I'm going to have a go at reflowing that and see what happens just pop the uh, covers off the back taking the battery out I'll drive out of the side you can see uh, for some reason Dell thought it would be a funny idea to stick two wireless cards in this um, sounds pretty pointless but this did have built in 3G, so I'm not sure whether one of those uh, controls that. I've taken both the uh, RAM cards out, and you can see here that's the uh, cooling fan, heat pipe, we've got processor, and uh, one of these is the GPU, and the other one's the chipset, I'd imagine. And I, don't, I think that one's the chipset, and that one's the GPU. But as soon as we pop that heat pipe off, I should be able to tell because one of them will have the NVIDIA logo on it, and the other one will probably have an Intel logo on it. 21 degrees. Yeah, I'm ready to give this a whirl. Right, I'm going to start it off at a low temperature. Okay, visually, it looks absolutely no different. But uh, it's very important not to knock it now because there's a chance the solder's still molten. Don't want to knock a lot of components off of it. So I'm going to tidy the rest of this stuff up and leave it for about half an hour. And then we'll uh, plug it back together and give it a try. I've reconnected what I think are all the uh, vital components. This is the one. Press the power button. It's booted, it's not exploded. Nothing's come up on the LCD though. Oh dear. Wow. Well, um, I've just plugged the XPS in through HDMI to my telly. And uh, it's booted Ubuntu. I mean, it looks pretty... It looks pretty bad. There's quite a lot of vertical lines on it. But, um, you know what? It bloody works. I reckon heating this... If I have another go at heating this up, I might be in luck. I'm going to give it a try. Give it a try. What's the time? Oh, right, yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, that's buggered, that is. But, you know, it's functioning. Might try it through VGA in a minute. Okay, I was getting two beeps when I booted it up, so I plugged the keyboard in, because uh, I can imagine the BIOS checks for some basic things like that, and it looks like it managed to boot. Okay, here we go again for another attempt at the Dell XPS refly. First one was unsuccessful, didn't fix anything. Made the problem a little bit worse, actually, if anything, but, you know, still functions, so it must be worth another go, right? I'll prop the laptop up on some old decking planks. Those seem to be the right height to give it some support. Because I didn't want, to, uh, didn't want to have the screen closed in case that got a bit hot. Alright, let's wrap it up in tin foil.
Yeah, it's still about 100 degrees, so I'll just let that cool down now. Ready for another try. Will my second attempt have been successful? We've got power. The keyboard back in. Oh, wow. RTC mode fix. Time and date may be wrong. Press F5 to run on board diagnostics. F1 to continue. Let's do that. Got another light. I've got no idea what light that is. Huh. We've got the Ubuntu desktop. A bit more brightness. You know what? That doesn't look bad. Looks fine to me. I think that's a fix, that is. Well, I'm very impressed with that. I had to part with 75 quid last time to send this off and have the uh, have the GPU it was actually replaced. Uh, the guy was just going to reball it, but uh, ended up replacing the GPU with uh, supposedly a better one. But who knows. Um, he fixed it for the time being. He did what he said he would. It came with a two-month guarantee. And packed up after three months, so I was pretty annoyed about that. But it just goes to show, next time, if your GPU goes and the laptop's well out of warranty, you don't really care about messing it up that much. Have a go at it yourself. It's worth a shot, because it might just work. So, uh, £75 saved, and I've got a fairly nice little Essa Core 2 Duo laptop.